Hey, welcome to Pete's RV Center today. Pete's RV TV, your local internet dealer. We get a lot of questions. People ask us, what's the number one selling trailer at your dealership? And uh, the number one selling trailer at our dealership is the Sprinter 2014 Sprinter 316 BIK by Keystone. We'll take a step inside. We've got, we've got our trusted sidekick there, Randy. Randy is an expert on this trailer, sells more of them than anybody I know. He's gonna take us through fit, construction, features, options like we have in the past, but this Sprinter is the number one selling trailer at Pete's RV Center, hands down. We'll take a quick look on the inside in just a minute and we'll find out, besides price, I mean obviously Pete's RV Center is the leader in price, but we'll look inside and see why this trailer outsells all the rest. We'll get the formal stuff right out of the way first. Randy Murray from Pete's RV Center here, Sprinter specialist, as you guys have seen a lot of our other videos together, a lot of cool stuff going Interested on. Interested sidekick. Interested sidekick, <laughs> you got it. Um, people, as we talked about earlier, Sprinter 316 is just killing it. It's a great floor plan. You can see a little bit from the video here. Josh can pan over. We can see things like the island kitchen. We'll come back and just go over some things, but hard door on our front bedroom here. Just a lot of cool stuff. Randy, tell us a little bit, kind of get tactical here, just for a little bit, fit and finish of the uh, of this Sprinter here. What's the sidewalls? It Sidewalls are going to be um, that welded aluminum cage that we've talked about in some of the other videos we've made. So it's the best way to do it. Uh, block styrofoam insulation, keeps us nice lightweight, uh, keeps the cold in when we want the cold in, keeps the heat in when we want the heat in. Um, so it's the best way to do it and I love to see it on the Sprinter product. A little another side note, Sprinter was the original flagship of the Keystone RV company. 16 so, years now. 16 years, yeah. yep. The, it's a wonderful unit here. Um, up front here, you'll notice on the front here, this is one of the few trailers that has a big island kitchen. I mean, look at the countertop space in here. We've got a lot of space on this side here as well. I mean, we both can stand over here on this side if we wanted to. It's hard to see it in the video. Um, we have cool things like pass-through storage here. I mean, I can open that up from both sides. We can walk around. Um, Everything is back screwed back to the technical thing. So just a nice durable cabinet. I mean, we can slam the doors on that. It's not shuttering. Just a very great way to put things together. Check that out, the recessed lighting as well. I mean, it, that's just a good sign of the quality and craftsmanship in this. It is, and it gives it a nice clean look, and it gives us lots of light over this rather than just like one that we would see in some of the other product lines out yeah. there. The counter space in this is incredible. As you can tell, I like to eat, and <laughs> we need a place to prepare that food. Yeah, we've got some nice bar stools bar. here. Randy, show us the sink on this. Deep bowl sink. I don't have one of these sinks in my camper and I, I really appreciate this. Uh, we can fill a pot of water in here. There's no center divider. We can wash dishes in here. We can pull this out. Most RV sinks are a little bit smaller than we have at home. So having that center divider in there really limits what you can put in your sink. So great way to do it. That's metal too, not it plastic. It sure is, absolutely. It's gonna last us a long time. It's a great quality, hot and cold. Very nice way to do it. Um, for all these that are interested in outlets and stuff like this, Josh probably can't grab it from the video, but these are GFI protected outlets in here built underneath. So if you want to plug your toaster and coffee maker. We've got more than one in the kitchen area. Josh can't see it from over there, but we've got one next to the refrigerator here. Six drawers back here. So, you know, in bunkhouse units, we're always looking for a place to put stuff. Uh, we usually bring more than we need. We don't know who's going to be for guests. Kids are coming with friends and stuff like that. So always need extra places for extra stuff. You got it in this unit. Pull that drawer out one more time, Randy. I don't know, can you catch that Josh on the, Josh is our camera van here in case you haven't met him yet. Roller bearing slides on this. Absolutely, residential all the way around. No lifting it up, pulling it out. The struts aren't gonna break off the back like the, <laughs> the camper that I own. So nice way to do it. And I love to see it in the Sprinter How much does hold, Randy? Do you know how much that drawer holds? I think oh, I've man. heard 30 pounds, 40 pounds. I would say anyway, absolutely. Yep, and it'll take it going down the road as well. Um, we've got, catch it here a little bit from that. This has got a window over here on this side, which a lot of people have really liked. You know, you usually don't have windows in the kitchen area. It's a very dark point of our trailer and you, it just doesn't let any natural light. If we didn't have this window here, it would be very dark in this area. They have put a small window in here for it. Lights us up a little bit more counter space next to the stove. I love to see it. And this is actually a slide out. This is a cable driven slide out we see in a Sprinter and that allows us to have this nylon kitchen. Great way to do it, great use of space. Just a nice way to do the living area in here. Yeah, we can get into the trick stuff too. I mean, you can see all the etched glass. You know, it's, it's got a good, nice texture to it. It's just really classy looking. Randy, so this is a 2014 with the new upgrades to it. So tell us a little bit. They went to a I different type of wood. The distressed wood. And I really appreciate this. Um, when I'm at home, I don't have distressed wood. I have a white kitchen at my house. So it's kind of cool when I go camping. I like the camp feel. I like the distressed wood. Gives it a great look. Um, it's very uniform throughout. It still has the glaze on it. So it's nice and easy to keep clean. We've talked about that in a couple of our other videos. Still has the mortise and tenon joints. Everything is shot and glued. Nice way to do it. And it's going to be very durable for us. We got this here. Just 
And that's cool on a nice how, bearing system. How cool is that? Just spin that big TV around into the bedroom area. You don't need a second TV for that area. And there's also TV hookups in the bunk area here as well. Uh, can you catch that, Josh? You got the, can you see the DVD player and the radio system in there? So you guys at home, this is the new radio system by Keystone that it Keystone's is. using. It's going to have some outside speakers for it. It sounds great. Um, it's just a nice system to have in here, and I love to see it. It's going to play our DVDs. It's going to play our CDs. We can plug our phones into it. It's got AV in, so it's not going to limit us on all the new devices that are out there today. It is up to date. Cool. Um, just all kinds more of storage. storage here. More storage. More storage. See around my fat belly, but. Um, <laughs> and again, back to I don't know if Josh can pan in on this. Mortise and tenon joints, and this is the way you want to build a cabinet door. When you look at your cabinet doors at home, this is the way they're going to be built. We're seeing it in the Sprinter product, and that goes back to the quality, the durability, and how long this unit's going to last so for you. Basically, what they do is they tongue and groove the uh, the pieces together here, so they're gives us a larger together. glue surface, and it also when we're shutting, opening, and closing these doors, it doesn't put undue pressure on one piece. It keeps it all together as one piece. You got it. Uh, Josh, I don't know if you can see the floor in this video here, guys, but check out the floor in here. This was part of that new wood package. We went to a different colored floor. The Sprinter, we're using a fully heated enclosed underbelly. Absolutely. Uh, and I, they still go in the bigger furnace. Is that what they did? They went to the bigger furnace. We've got bigger furnace. We've got a two inch duct blowing down through there. Um, and it's all enclosed with that corrugated plastic. Going to keep road debris out. Going to keep uh, critters out for the most part. Um, all our tanks, plumbing's above the floor. So just a great way to do it. We talk about Arctic packages and Arctic barriers and things like that. The Sprinter is equipped with one. Everybody's got their own little name for it. Sprinter has that on this guy. We'll get to the back bedroom. This That's what sells us the front bedroom. Let's take a quick look at this sofa. I mean, it sounds funny. Everybody thinks you know, we're going to buy a bunkhouse. All our kids are going to sleep in the back. Every once in a while, you get that kid or the adult that needs to sleep uh, too long. Someone stays by the campfire a little too long. <laughs> yeah. Um, this, this is how easy this is. You know. You see that, Josh? I mean, that's a, it's a it's nice, nice memory foam mattress. I usually really take these, stack them towards the back there, lay my sleeping bag over the top, and we're good to go. Yeah, just less than, less than a minute, without a doubt. Less than 10 seconds. No blowing anything up. Yeah, you're right. So if we have to blow that up, we actually have to plug this into electricity. If you went to Loudoun, you went to Daytona, you went somewhere that didn't have electricity, a state park. Or in the middle of the night, if it starts to go down on us yeah. a little bit, we're turning that compressor on and that's not fun for the other people sleeping in the coach. <laughs> yeah, let's go over this way just a little bit, Randy. I'll yes, show you folks the, uh, we got the cloth lines here in the windows. You can put those up and down as much as you like. <laughs> uh, but point out, We've got a window that opens up, cross ventilation. In the slide box, that's wonderful. And back to what you just mentioned, the Loudon or the dry camping we do at our state parks where we can't run the generators all the time for the air conditioning. So it's very nice to be able to open windows across the camper. The window in the kitchen we can even open so we can get great cross ventilation there. Super deep slide on this too. I mean, it's not the shallow slide that we'll yeah. see on some of the units out there. Um, at interior dimensions, about 40 inches it runs out. So just great way to do it. And it pushes our furniture out of the traffic pattern. So we've got plenty of place. If I'm sitting here at the breakfast bar, you can walk by. Mm -hmm. um, get to the restroom what have you so great way to do it love to see it in the sprinter some stuff you can't see from the video i'm going to hit upon real quick is surround sound through the ceiling we've got one here we've got one behind you guys we've got a uh, floor lighting down below which is a little night light um, that turns on from our panel here just do the way we're shooting this video we've got outside lighting we've got a gas electric hot water here that we just push either button from the inside or both um, that goes back to the sprint, uh, Camping Made Easy by Sprinter that you're talking about. Our command center is all in one location. Our monitor panel is here. Our water um, heater is all controlled from here. Our water pump is controlled here. Ceiling lights, outside lights, floor lights. Um, we have a backup light on here that we can control from here. So that's an outside scare light. Both slides are run from here. All in one place. Don't have to be looking for anything. Even if you don't know this camper, you can come here and use it very easily. Little side fact. Uh, Pete's RV Center sells more Sprinters than anyone else in the world. More people buy their Sprinters from Pete's RV. Number one is... Uh, we buy them in huge lots. We stock a bunch of them. Keystone gives us the best pricing on them, which we can then pass along to you. Obviously, while you're watching this video, 90% of the time, is if you've heard Pete's RV Center's pricing is better than anybody else's. Um, so it just gives you an option for that. We've got a lot of cool stuff I need to show in the bunkhouse back there. Maybe you can just mention this solid door you here know, in the front. You know, and this is a derivative of those rear kitchen floor plans, uh, or, or not rear kitchen floor plans, but the bunkhouse floor plan with the outside kitchen. Mm -hmm. um, most of those do not have a hard door in them. They usually have pass away both sides with a TV in the middle. So it's not really a great bedroom for the parents. The kids have the great bedroom, don't have it here. This hard door here gives us a great bedroom area. We can close it off for privacy. Um, just a super nice way to do it. Plus it gives us all that storage over there, which we don't typically see in these floor plans. You're right. Usually you got the pass through on both sides exactly. and very little storage. Yep. So. 
What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run them back to the back bunk yeah, room man. here, show them what's going on, and I'll meet you outside. We'll uh, show them what's got a big outside, outside kitchen. kitchen. <laughs> you got it. All right, man. Back bunk room is what sells this. You can get the Sprinter two different ways. You can get it with our trundle bed system here. Um, the top bunk will always be the same. This can lift up. It pins from the side. Um, but down below on this particular model we're at right now, we've got the bigger trundle bed, their bigger bunk here, and then we have a trundle bed that I've got half pulled out underneath here that goes in and out. You can get this with a sofa in the back that makes into a bed, just like that one that me and Randy just demonstrated up front, so that adult sleeping. These are 74 inches wide. It's a full width, uh, full length on it. The top, the bottom one's actually a little bit, a little bit wider, as you can see from the video. One cool thing about these is the uh, the quilted top on them. They're very, very comfortable, very durable, and they're going to resist staining. Um, we've got a skylight back here. We've got outside windows back here. Um, we've got another bunk on this side. Um, can you catch this from the video there, Josh? I don't know if you guys can see this. 300 pounds is the weight limit on these bunk beds. You look at the other brands, they're like 150 pounds. I mean, heck, 12-year-old kid weighs 150 pounds nowadays. So that's a good sign of better quality products. So be careful when you're shopping. You're gonna, you can buy something that you can't use. We've got all kinds of storage here on this side here. We've got a little ladder that's going to pull out. Um, it's hard to see there with a the curtain. Um, all kinds of storage and we got that bunk bed on this side as well so skylight one thing i want to mention too the sprinter has gone to the taller ceilings in here so you get a lot more head height especially on this bunk over here you get more head height and also gives us taller slides so pretty cool feature that keystone's been using on the sprinter so let's go back out we'll meet up with randy and we'll check out uh, some cool features on the outside of this one